play Monopoly. The object of the game is to become the wealthiest player. Increase your wealth by buying, selling, renting, and trading properties. Each player starts with a stack of cash and magic dice. The players take turns rolling dice and moving to new locations. Each location brings new opportunities or setbacks. Get ahead by collecting and improving properties. You lose the game if you run out of money. But if you collect the most, you will win. The game can turn on a roll of the dice. Before we start, we need to see who will go first. To determine who goes first, each player rolls dice. Highest dice roll goes first. In the event of a tie, those players roll again. To roll your dice, you press the button shown on the screen. Once the dice are spinning, press your button again to make them stop. Let's see who goes first. It's your turn. Before you move, you can get a preview of your road ahead. Press the button to look ahead at the places you could go this turn. You control how far ahead you want to look. As you view each space, information about it is displayed. Cancel out when you are done previewing the path ahead. Now it's time to see how far you will move. Roll the dice and see what number you get. You advance to the property with a distance equal to that number. Now we know how far you will move this turn. We will see what happens next, depending on where you stop. You don't have to watch the entire trip to your destination if you don't want to. To skip to the end of your move, press the button when you see the prompt. Let's get on with your move. Mm, yeah! Ooh. Good news. No one owns this land. You can own a piece of the city. You can buy this property directly by paying the bank's price. Or you can put it up for auction and see which player will pay the most to get it. Once you pay the bank for the property, you will get the title deed card. Oh, just buy it. You'll thank me later. Oh, yeah! Congratulations on your new property. Now you can charge rent to the other players who come here. Collecting all the properties in a color group makes a monopoly. The rent for a property in a monopoly will be doubled. The rent goes even higher after you start building on the property. Mm -hmm. yeah! Voila! Think it says. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. That little one looks kind of cute, like a doll, huh? Oh, Two turns for the price of one. Good value. Yeah. Oh. This one's got curb appeal. Yeah. Ling -a -ling. <laughs> Ah! 
got my eye on this one. Mm hmm. You get another turn. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Brother? Oh, you should auction it so I can do the fast talking thing. Ooh. Deals like this won't last forever. Oh, yeah! Congratulations on your new property. Now you can charge rent to the other players who come here. The rent you collect from a railroad is doubled for each additional railroad you collect. Yeah. Now that you have a property, you may want to exchange it with one that another player has. You can choose to set up a trade by selecting the trade option while looking at the map. You can set up a trade at the end of your turn. Indicate any cards that you would like to change ownership. The total value of each side of the trade is displayed at the bottom of the trade screen. If the property exchange is not equal, you can add cash to the deal to make it more agreeable. After the trade is proposed, the other player can choose to counter the proposal. Once both players agree, the exchange is made. Uh, uh, uh. Mm -hmm. What? Welcome to Monopoly Plaza. It's time. Oh. If you buy it in the next millisecond, it's free. Too late. Oh.